Hey guys, it's me, Isabel. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing on this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day? I'm doing great and I hope you guys are too. This video, like as you read by the title, you're like, oh my gosh, another back to school video. Now you could either be happy or you can be <laughs> freaking irritated, okay? I told myself I was not gonna make another back to school video or anything to do with school this year, but after one month of college, I have come to realize that I need to make this video, okay? I hope it benefits you guys who are just now starting school or have started school a few weeks ago and you're just like, so lost on what you need to bring. I don't know if you guys know or not, but I do not live on campus. I go to community college, so I commute from home to school and home from school every day. It's not that bad. It's only like 10 minutes from my house, but it's harder for me to know what I, I need to bring in my backpack and what I need for the school day because, you know, even though I might have one class in one day, you know, I might want to stay at the school and study, you know what I mean? And my dorm isn't just like a few steps away you know what i mean my dorm is my house and i'm not about to get in my car to drive back home to get stuff like mm -mm. we're not gonna do that you know throughout the month i've been in college i've taken stuff out of my backpack i've put stuff in my backpack i've just been trying to see what i need and what i don't need so i always have everything with me but my backpack isn't hella heavy you know what i mean you know so i hope this video is very helpful for you guys okay but before you get into this video make sure you thumbs this video up for me okay and subscribe to my channel if you have not already all right make sure you turn on my notification bell and follow me on instagram at isabella pemi i'm gonna leave it on the screen right here without further ado let's get into this video so the first thing that i have to show you guys and this what's in my backpack video because there will be no point, right? It is my backpack and honestly, I really do not like this backpack. I do not like it. Not necessarily the type of backpack I will usually carry. You know, in the past years, I've got like Nike book bag. Sometimes I'll have a tote bag. But this is like the first time I've ever had one of these like cool sack you know those type of book bags and i really don't like it so i'll probably end up switching out my bag later on in the school year but for right now this is what i have so this is a sack bag and it has like a big pouch in the front it's a little pouch up here you flip it open it has like a tie drawstring all right and then on the inside it has like a 13 inch computer holder which is perfect because my macbook is 13 inches and then it has it's pretty spacious, I will say that. And it comes with a pencil pouch. I got this from Marshalls. I think it was like $39.99. I'm gonna just start off with the main thing that I have in my book bag. The thing that I make sure I need to have every single freaking day is my MacBook. College is like a huge transition from high school, okay? It is not the same, okay, boo? I'm not sure about you guys, but in high school, I never brought my computer to school. I never did. They always had computers. I'm not saying that my college does not have computers. They have really nice, they actually have iMac. But I recommend for you to bring a laptop so you can always have your files on there keep tab of your stuff you know on your personal laptop because on a school laptop you know you have to log in you might not have all your stuff saved on there but a laptop you know you can take it with you anywhere you'll always have your stuff saved on here i recommend a laptop not necessarily a macbook i have a macbook because i youtube i make youtube videos so i just use macbook for like iMovie, Final Cut Pro, you know, just to edit my videos. But you can always have like a HP or, you know, a Dell. Doesn't matter, but I just recommend that you have at least a laptop. And if you cannot afford a laptop, there are some cheaper options like having a maybe an iPad or a tablet, you know, with a connectable keyboard does the same thing, honestly. So the next thing that I have in my backpack that is hella freaking important, like this is what I use for everything is a five star, five subject notebook. I actually got this from Target for like $4, I think. But before I saw this, I didn't, this is like the last thing I saw before I went to checkout. Before I saw this, I had like four different, you know, little notebooks. Four different notebooks that would have taken up so much space. Then I saw this and it was like, it just has five. It has like, 
I guess, 50 pages. And then you have a break, you have a folder, one side, folder on the other side. Then you have 50 more pages, break, folder, folder, 50 more pages. And it goes like five times. And honestly, this is amazing. It actually is very, very convenient, you know? I won't ever forget one notebook. Like say I'm at home, I'm studying, and I forget to bring my one notebook, right? That's not the case, because I've always had this because it has all my notebooks together, it has everything together. I will never forget anything. I'll never leave anything at home because it's all together. You guys should invest in this. Invest in this, I'm telling you. So the next thing I have in my book bag is this binder. Now, at first, I was not going to bring a binder. Originally, all I had was my five star, five subject notebook and my laptop. And I was not gonna bring a binder until, you know, cause you know those little folders and the five, the five star notebook, I'll show you again. The little folders, you know, they don't really take up a lot of things and they're also paper. So I didn't want to like push it to its um, limits, to its maximum. So I ended up getting a binder. And I also have the binder for my chemistry, for my periodic table. I just put it in a clear sheet protector. It's in a clear sheet protector. So um, it will never get messed up. Now I have dividers as well. So it'll divide the subject. So, you know, chemistry, sociology, language arts, and so on and so on. Also, um, I got a binder so I can have excess paper, like, cause you know, I don't want to rip out any pages in my five star notebook. So if I need like an individual paper to turn in to the teacher or something like that, or just a paper like to work out math problems or something like that, I just take some of these, rip it out, take it out, whatever. I'm trying to stay organized this year. Throughout high school, I really wasn't organized because college is no joke. I have learned this first month. It's no joke, y'all. Um, my teachers didn't really ask for textbooks. My chemistry textbook is online. Um, I just downloaded the PDF for free onto my computer, but I just have another textbook for my language arts class. I actually got this off of Check Study, used version for me to keep, not to return. It was like $15. And Chang really has like cheaper textbooks. Like I went to my school bookstore. This book was like $30 to buy for me to keep. I just got a used version off Chang for $15. Does the same job. And the next thing that I have in my bag is my TI-84 calculator. I think I got this from Target. It was like $130. TI-84s, they have like a like the original version it wasn't color or anything um and this is like the this is the newer version with color and all that the next thing i have is this planner y'all this, this planner uh, if it wasn't for this planner i'll probably have missed turning in a whole bunch of assignments okay i just jot down everything i have to do like this is the first week of school so i didn't really have anything to do like as the weeks went on, like this was the second week I had a few things to do, just jot it down. Um, then I'll just look back every day to see what homework I have to do or what do I have to be studying for. I think you should invest in a planner. I wouldn't say to just write down everything and reminders on your phone because I have done that before and I'll just click snooze and I will for totally forget about it. But the planner is like always there. The only thing with the planner is that you have to keep up with it and you have to constantly be writing stuff down. I got this from Target. It was like seven or eight bucks. So the next thing I have in my bag is a little pencil pouch that came with the book bag. You see it's the same like design. And in the pencil pouch, I just have, you know, some pencils, some pens, a highlighter, just the basics that I need. And then the next thing that I have in my pouch is my emergency kit bag. I'm actually gonna leave like a little tick up. I don't know which corner it is, but I'll just leave it up there for you to see what I have in here. I'm not really going to go in depth in this video because I have a whole video dedicated to this bag, but you know, I just have like some little lotions and chapsticks and stuff in there. But if you want to see like in detail 
what's in this bag, you know? Click the thing at the top corner of the screen and I'll also leave the link to the video in the description down below. Last thing I have in like this main part of my book bag is my wallet, you know, to keep money so I can buy food. So that's it for the main part of the book. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my little pouch up here. So in here, um, for my uh, chemistry class, we have a lab, so we always have to have some goggles. I just purchased these from my school, actually. They were like six bucks, so yeah, I just have this always in my book bag. I have my iPhone and my MacBook charger. I never know how long I'm gonna be staying at school for. I never know, you know, if I will need it. So, I just make sure I always have these with me. And the next thing I have in here is a MacBook splitter, I think it's called. I'm gonna show you guys my MacBook. Now, I have like a newer MacBook, I think it's like 2018. And um, for some reason, they like discontinued, you know, how on the side it has like a USB port, it has, you know. All it has is like two charging ports for the MacBook. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, how am I gonna do stuff? So separately, I had to purchase a splitter and the splitter just goes into the MacBook like this. I have to put in like SD cards, USB ports, you know. And I also have my headphones for my computer as well. That's it for what I have in my backpack. I hope this video was very like helpful for you guys because Y'all, it took me a whole month just to figure out what I need to bring my backpack, what stuff I need to buy, what stuff I need to have, you know? And especially being at a community college and commuting from home to school, I never know like what I need or what I need to bring to school that day or how long I'm gonna be staying at school that day. And it's not like my dorm is like a few steps away. It's like, I have to come all the way home if I need something. So this took a lot of time, you know, deciding what I need to put in my backpack and um, I hope this video was very, very helpful for you guys, okay? Um, let me know in the comments, like, was this video helpful or did you already have this stuff in your book bag? Just let me know in the comments down below, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave this video a huge thumbs up, all right? And subscribe to my channel if you have not already, okay? Make sure you turn on my notification bell and follow me on Instagram at Isabella Pemi. I'm going to leave it on the screen right here. And make sure you share this video with your friends if you think this could benefit them. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.